Hey everyone, my name is Persh and welcome back in another video on Just a Tech YouTube channel. So in this video we will fix and see the problem of the broken baseband. If you go to the i button or from the device settings, you will don't see the IMEI number or a MEID number. You will only see the serial number of your device. That means the device has the broken baseband and you cannot run the same or a network on this device. And when you try to activate this device, you will see some kind of error like unable to activate like this and you cannot solve this error by just formatting your device or flashing with the itunes or 3u tools you will always get this error when you try to activate with your device with 3u tools or your device itself and this is because your device has the broken baseband now many of you are thinking that what is this baseband and why we are seeing this unable to activate the error again and again so i'm not going too much into the hardware level but let me tell you the baseband is the ic chip that contains all the network or a sim related services of your device so that the basement ic is damaged by the hardware so you cannot run the sim or a network on this device or you cannot activate or proceed to the home screen or the other services because that ic help you to run the same network and everything related to the network services so you have to repair that ic by the hardware repairing method you need to purchase the new ic then reballing it but i will show you a software method you can fix this error by the software method so the hardware method costs more but the software method costs less and it's very easy to skip this screen and you will get directly to the home screen and you can easily operate your device and reboot it like a normal device now if you don't want to go to the software solution the only solution is left is the hardware solution you need to replace the baseband ic chip of the device and then it will work but for that there is a condition if the find my phone is on on the device if you replace the baseband chip it will come into the activation lock screen and you need a icloud id and the password to enter in your device and if the find my phone is off you are ready to go you can just replace the baseband chip and your device will be perfectly working so i have told you everything related to this broken baseband and all the criteria and the repair method and now in the further video i will show you the software method like how to fix this kind of errors and you can get back to your device very easily so let me just go to my computer screen and show you the complete process like how it works now the step one you have to open the three tools and if you don't have three tools just go to the official website and download the tool from there and simply install it after that you have to connect your device and you will see all the device detail but in the ima section you will see n slash a as i told you in the starting this is because of the broken baseband or a damaged baseband for that you have to first flash your device so go to the flash section and you have to download the latest ipsw so i have a iphone 6s and the currently signed version is 14.3 so you have to download that and if you have already downloaded the IPSW file, you can also import in the tool and you have to select the quick flash mode and then flash your device completely. Now after the flashing process, you need to close the three tools and you need to run the checkrain jailbreak. So for that, I made two videos on dedicated checkrain windows method. So links in the description, you can watch that. It's on my custom ISO file and the Checknix method. So both are available on the channel or the links in the description. The process is very simple. You need to download the checkrain ISO file and then you have to make the USB bootable. If you are using my custom ISO file, you need to use the Rufus tool to make the USB bootable. And if you use the Checknix method, you need to use the Bellinature tool to make USB bootable. So dedicated links in the description. You must watch that video first to know the full checkrain jailbreak process and then you can continue this process. And many people always ask me the checkrain works for the above iPhone X model. So the answer is clear know this method is only supported by iphone 5s to iphone x model and the other ipad model that are supported with a checkrain jailbreak like ipad mini 2 ipad mini 3 and 4 and ipad air first and second generation and ipad fifth sixth and seventh generation so you can go to the checkrain official website and you will get every supported device list there Now the bootable process is done, now you need to reboot your PC. So simply restart your PC and go to your BIOS settings or a boot manager settings and select your pendrive from it. So now just click on enter and you will see checkrain 0.12.2 windows. After that it will load checkrain automatically. 
Now you can see the checkerin is run on 0.12.2 that is latest version. Now you need to connect your device so let me show you first it's still on the unable to activate screen and it's coming on every time I have to activate the device. So now I will connect my device. Now as you can see on the screen the model number and the iOS version. Now if you have a A11 device like iPhone 8, 8 plus or an iPhone X you need to allow this skip A11 BPR check option and if you have a other device you don't need to select any option just simply proceed it. Now the same process like always follow the instruction on the screen first you have to put your device into DFU mode and then it start jailbreaking. Now the jailbreak process is done and you can see all done on the screen and you can see the device is still on the unable to activate screen. So now we will go to the windows machine again and we will try to fix this. Now quit the checkerin app and you will see terminal down below and you have to type the reboot command and hit on enter. After that remove your USB stick and you will directly redirect to your windows machine. Now after that just open the three tools and confirm your device is jailbroken or not it will show yes or no from there. And after that you will have to download the tool so I will give the links in the description of this tool you need to download it first and then extract it. Now double click on it and you will get the exe file just open it. Now after that just connect your device and it will show your device serial number. So first of all I want to give the big shout out to Mubashi Sheikh and the Strom team to providing this tool. So after that you have to copy the serial number and you have to activate the device first. Now to activate you need to register your device first. So it's very simple to register. You need to just check the description link and you will get the WhatsApp group link. Nominal you need to just pay the $5 for this method and after that your device will be registered in the tool. So just join in the group and you will get all the information there. And according to me this method is very reasonable like just in $5 you can get your device done because if you go to the other option like hardware method that will cost you more and slightly high as compared to this method so it's very easy you need to just register your device and use the tool and it will all done and if you have any query or question just join that group and ask there and they'll surely support you and help you out now after registering your device just connect it again and click on the activate button and it will activate your device Now after that you will see on the tool it's done just click on ok and your device will be respring. Now this time you will not see the unable to activate error. Now just simply activate your device and make sure you have connected to the Wi-Fi. Now as you can see on the screen it's completely skipped and it's fixed the unable to activate error and it's completely skipped now. Now you have to set up your device normally. So don't set the passcode or other options, just skip everything, you can set them later. Now the setup is done and welcome to the iPhone and as you can see now the device is working normally and you can see on the settings everything works like a normal device. And as I told you in the starting, your device baseband is damaged that means you cannot run SIM or any network services on your device and it will show like this like searching for the SIM signals or a network. And if you want to install Syria you can do that also so just go to the chicken loader and simply install the Syria. Now the CD is installed properly and it's working fine and now I will show you how to reboot the device and it's a unthreaded method. If you reboot the device it will not get lock again or it will not show the unable to activate error again so you can easily reboot. Now the device is on again that means it's fully untethered method that means you can easily reboot the device and everything is working like camera and everything so you can try this method so you can join the whatsapp group and follow the instructions there and you can register your device and use the tool 
So that's all for this video. You can try the software method because hardware method costs you more and it's more risky. You can open your device and do the some hardware stuff. Better than you can use the software method and it's easy to use. So register your device and you can easily use this tool. So that's all for this video. I hope you like this video. So share with your friends and comment down below if you got any problem. So till then goodbye, take care and peace out.